In October 2017, the U.S. Department approved a possible foreign military sale to the Czech Republic for Bell UH-1Y utility helicopters. The Bell UH-1Y, with the nickname Venom, is a twin-engine, medium-sized utility helicopter built by Bell Helicopter as one of the newest Marine Corps aircraft as part of their H-1 upgrade program. This aircraft was intended to replace the UH-1N Huey. Therefore, it is also called the Super Huey. The Bell UH-1Y utility helicopter was designed to provide command and control as well as day and night assault support even in adverse weather conditions. The Bell UH-1Y incorporates cutting-edge technology and manufacturing techniques to carry on the legacy of the venerable and battle-proven H-1 helicopter design, making it the most significant upgrade to the H-1 helicopter ever made. So what does the UH-1Y Venom actually look like? If you're curious about it, don't go anywhere and stay tuned only to this channel. Hello everyone, in today's video we will discuss one modernized version of the UH-1 design in the U.S. Marine Corps Aviation Fleet, the UH-1Y Venom. The upgrade program for UH-1Y Venom from earlier UH-1N Twin Huey was initiated by U.S. Marine Corps in 1996. There were 100 units of UH-1N converted to UH-1Y helicopters as well as 180 units of AH-1W and AH-1Z. The Marine Corps certified the UH-1Y as operationally capable on August 8, 2008, and it was deployed for the first time in January 2009 as part of the 13th Marine Expeditionary Unit's aviation combat element. Then the Marine Corps retired the UH-1N Twin Huey in August 2014, making the UH-1Y the standard utility helicopter. On October 11, 2017, the Defense Security Cooperation Agency notified the U.S. Congress of a potential sale to 12 UH-1Y helicopters and related systems and support to the Czech Republic for $575 million. A contract for eight UH-1Y helicopters was approved in December 2019. The UH-1Y Venom makes extensive use of off-the-shelf technology, upgraded engines and transmissions, an integrated digital cockpit with multifunction flat panels, increased payload capabilities, and crashworthy seating for all crew and passengers of the UH-1Y all contribute to the Marine Corps' increased load carrying capability, range and survivability, smaller logistical footprint, as well as ease of maintenance. The UH-1's extremely successful, versatile, and dependable airframe was combined with modern avionics and new propulsion. Despite its similarities to the previous UH-1 variants, the Venom is powered by General Electric T700 GE 401C turboshaft engines. These have a constant output of 1,550 shaft horsepower, but can produce 1,800 shaft horsepower for 2.5 minutes. This means the Venom can speed up to nearly 230 miles per hour with a cruising speed close to 190 miles per hour. With this power, the UH-1Y can carry a mission endurance for more than three hours and can reach a service ceiling up to 20,000 feet while sporting a rate of climb of 2,520 feet per minute. Moreover, a new four-blade, all-composite, ballistically tolerant rotor system is at the heart of the upgrade of the UH-1Y. The main rotor on this helicopter, which is created from composite and has four blades, can withstand 23mm cannon hits. As a result, the UH-1Y can achieve excellent performance. Also, it can now carry 125% more payload, is faster, and has a 50% longer range than its predecessor. The UH-1Y Venom is crewed by up to two pilots seated side-by-side side aft of the short nose cone. They are equipped with helmet-mounted sights with night vision and infrared vision as part of the digital system available on the UH-1Y Venom. The helicopter also features an advanced glass cockpit and cutting-edge digitally synchronized avionics, which include a new target system with a modern FLIR. 
This allows for target sighting during the day, night, and inclement weather. The fuselage sides have hinged automobile-style doors for entry and exit. This section is followed by the passenger compartment, which has large rectangular sliding entry-exit doors. The twin-engine compartment is installed over the roof, and these systems power both the main rotor blade overhead and the four-bladed rotor unit at the tail. Horizontal planes are positioned well aft of the tail boom, and the undercarriage is a straightforward four-point skid design. On the other hand, the aircraft's chin has an optics set, and the fuselage has two outboard hardpoints for rockets or gun pods. As a result, machine guns or Gatling guns can be mounted atop pinnel systems in the door positions, meaning the UH-1Y can be fielded as a gunship. The armament-filled UH-1Y Venom includes 12.7mm or 7.62mm machine guns, as well as 7.62mm Gatling guns installed in the open doors on either side of the fuselage. It can also carry pods containing Hydra-70 unmanned rockets, or APKWS laser-guided anti-armor missiles, which are used for self-defense in order to weaken enemy defenses before landing. As a utility helicopter with a variety of tasks, the UH-1Y is not only capable of serving military logistics and performing air assault, but also transport troop and providing medical evacuation. The Venom helicopter can transport up to eight fully equipped soldiers and can reconfigure its cargo bay for other purposes such as medevac and cargo transport due to its modular design. Overall, the UH-1Y Venom multi-role utility helicopter can be outfitted with a variety of weapons and mission support configurations to perform close air support missions, as well as combat, assault, support, search and rescue, casualty evacuation, armed escort, reconnaissance, command and control, and special operations support. The UH-1Y Venom platform also has significantly increased load carrying capability, greater range and survivability, as well as a smaller logistics footprint. Therefore, it is no wonder the UH-1Y Venom becomes the U.S. Marine Corps' premier utility platform. On combat missions, the U.S. Marine Corps usually sends two to four utility helicopters along with a detachment of four to eight attack helicopters. That's all for today. If you find this video interesting, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.